Welcome back to our series on cases. Today we're going to have a look at the accusative case. So how do those forms of the, a uh, and the possessive adjectives go in the accusative case? How does this table look different to the nominative table that we looked at before? That's it, only the masculine ones have changed and that's all that's different about these forms. So watch out for masculine ones. How do we know when to use the accusative case then would be the next important question. It's when something is the direct object in a sentence. Let's look at some examples. Okay, the first one, der Lehrer hat eine Katze. The teacher has a cat. This time, we need to find out who or what is receiving the action of the verb to find the direct object. But let's go through the process. Let's find our verb first. Hut is our verb. Who or what is doing the having? Der Lehrer. So he's the subject. What does he have? So what is receiving the action of the verb? Eine Katze. So the Katze, the cat, is the direct object. Second one. Where's our verb? Singt. Who or what is doing the singing? In this case, meine Freundin. So she's the subject. Now what is she singing? What's receiving the action of the verb? Das Lied. So the song is the direct object. Pretty easy, huh? The final example here. Das Pferd frisst meinen Apfel. The horse eats my apple. Our verb is frisst. Who or what is doing the eating? Das Pferd. So the horse is the subject. What's he eating? What's re receiving the action of the verb? Meinen Apfel. So it's the direct object. Okay, so there's our straightforward examples. Let's look at a couple of more complex ones. So there are, there are two questions for finding the subject and therefore the nominative case and the direct object and therefore the accusative case. Our example. Wann kauft dein Papa ein Haus? When is your dad buying a house? The action here, kauft, buys or is buying. Who's doing the buying? So who's the subject? Dein Papa. What's he buying? What's receiving that action? Ein Haus. So it's the direct object and therefore accusative. Okay? So even when it's a question, the same rules apply. And a final example where there are two clauses. Wenn das Kind seinen Freund besucht, sieht es einen Abenteuerfilm. So when the child visits his friend, he sees an adventure film. So the verb in the first half is besucht. Who or what's doing the visiting? That's the child, that's right. So the child is the subject. Who or what is he visiting? His friend. So the friend is the direct object. And here's our second verb, sieht. Doing the seeing is s referring back to the child. What's it seeing? An Abenteuer film and therefore the direct object. And you can see here the masculine accusative forms that have changed. And that's really all there is to it. So let's summarize. So is a word the direct object? Yes. Then you need to use the accusative case. Cool. So, der becomes den, ein becomes einen, mein becomes meinen, and so on. That's it. Good luck with it.